Hey, this is Luke. Sine, cos, tan, what does it all mean? Let me simplify this for you. Let's look at our three key formulas. Sakatoa. You need to learn this letter by letter. It's very important. A way I like to remember it is think of Krakatoa, like a volcano, but remember your socks. So Sakatoa. It's really weird, but I'm sure you'll remember that. The labeling of the triangle is also going to be very important. The side opposite the angle is called the opposite. The longest side, or the side opposite the right angle, is going to be called the hypotenuse. And the last side left over is the adjacent. You're going to need those to plug in your formulas here. When do we use sine, cos, or tan then? Well, we use sine, cos, or tan when we want an angle and we have two sides, or when you want a side and you have an angle and a side. So two scenarios here. Let's look at an example. In this example here, we're trying to find the length of the side labelled x. First of all, we need to label the sides of the triangle. So this side here on the right is going to be called the opposite, because that's the side opposite the angle. The 16 centimetres here is going to be the hypotenuse, because that's the longest side, and it's the side opposite the right angle. And then finally, x is just going to be the adjacent, the leftover side. Now think in your head, we need to use sine, cos or tan, one which relates the hypotenuse with the adjacent here in this question. So sa, ka, toa, it's ka. Cos relates the adjacent with the hypotenuse. So we're going to use that. Then we can make an equation here in this question. Cos of 51 is equal to x over 16. Now it's just a matter of solving this out. You can multiply your 16 up and you'll get 16 cos of 51 is equal to x. And then you're just going to be smacking that all into the calculator to find out what x is. If you put that all into the calculator, you'll get x is equal to 11.9 centimeters. And that is sine, cos and tan made easy.